So she, sir, so good to see you again. How First to be of all, here. let me just congratulate you. Thank you so much. Congratulations <laughs> for being a finalist. This Thank is you. an incredible opportunity it is. Um, it's, it's, for you. It is. And I'm very excited um, by your film. I, I really liked the story. I liked Thank your you. presentation and your pitch. And I think the rest of the jury really loved it too. Yeah. And I'm really so proud that you're Nigerian. So very Nigerian. <laughs> we, we've got a rock. You know, Nigerian de carry right? <laughs> uh, uh, no, We're going to make this really, really, really rock. Um, so what, what we wanted to do with this yep. meeting um, is just a brief exchange, okay. uh, basically to just know your state of readiness, yeah. um, to give you like a, a, a breakdown, just so that you have boxes to, to check yeah. of, of your preparedness, um, but principally to offer opportunity for you to get some advice yeah. uh, if you need. Um, and also, of course, if you need any support, uh, yeah. uh, whatsoever uh, for us to be able to provide that. I am aware that you're shooting today. So we're going to make <laughs> this as, as smooth and quick as possible so Thank you can get on set. Thank you. Um, I've made kind of like a list to kind of guide, you know, our it conversation. Is. Yeah. Um, it's a basic, it's a basic, you know, sort of like review list yes. to just, you know, um, hear you talk about how prepared yeah. and the things that, that you don't, uh, you're, you're not so sure about, yeah. um, you just you just let me know. Yeah. Uh, so this is your meeting. This is your opportunity yeah. um, to get some support, to get some advice, uh, yeah. uh, whatever. So essentially what we want to do, first of all, is just talk about, you know, not the story. We now know the story. Yes. I want to <clears throat> talk about, you know, either your storyboard or, or your, your, your short list. Yeah. The idea is just so that, you know, I could hear you read off your shortlist mm -hmm. and and be able to remember the story you told us and to be sure that you know um it's still the same story Perfect. so yes <laughs> um so yeah i just start with that i i, I want to talk about the storyboard and the shortlist yes. um quickly yes, uh, yeah so one of the things i i realized right at the start of this film was the shortlist itself was paramount I had to have that one in there. And so I started talking to like very close friends of mine who had an idea of you know, what to do, especially when you're shooting in a very, very confined space. Because the movie is taking place in one small space. Just that. There'll be variations of things going on in there. Mm -hmm. So I looked around and I said, okay, this is a square space. All right. Limited areas where you can put cameras. So that is a problem. I have to do a short list. And so after like about a week of conversations with these people, um, we came up with something interesting. Um, I put up a picture on my, my, on my, I think on my status, and the DOP said, that's the shot. That's the one we're using as the opening shot. And so I said, okay, this looks good. Just break it down for yeah. me, just so I know what yeah. this shot list is. So the very first thing on the shot list that we'll be doing is going to be an overhead shot. Now this overhead shot establishes the room. We want to see where the room is. We want to know where things are, where the actor is, where the chair is, where uh, the bed is. This is where it's going to be. Establishing that, then we start to establish the characters slowly. We want to establish, we don't want to show him just yet. We're not exactly trying to create any sense of suspense, but we want to build up towards the character himself. So the very first thing we do is an overhead shot, I believe. Yeah. Overhead shot, that's going to be very, very static, zoomed in. First thing we do. The next thing we do is a medium type shot. Now this shot itself is going to show very, very few details about the character because the character is just sitting. It's impatient. It's trying to wait. We get a shot of that. The next thing we do, we get a shot of what he's looking at, his phone. It's on his left side. Once we get that, we now show the character's face. It's going to be medium, maybe, sh I guess, shoulder length, I guess, from the um, shoulder all the way up. We establish the character's face. Then we transition to something else entirely. Now, we want to get the character in a position where we know where he's seated. But we want to get a little bit intimate with him. Now, the moment we establish the character, the narrator starts speaking. Now, the idea of the narrator is to narrate the entire story. Functionally, the, direct, the, the narrator is the action in the story. He actually is the action in the story. He narrates every single thing the character does. Now, the character has conversations with that narrator. Now, the character, conversations are very, very subtle. But the thing is, the main twist of the film is the fact that there is a different voice entirely whose job is just to counter How are you doing this in, in terms of the shot? That's yeah. what I want to know. I know the story. Yes. Um, okay. And remember, this is a short film. It's a short film, yes. So you're not going to get a lot of time mm -hmm. 
to establish visual um, mm -hmm. sequencing yes. of this, of say, of a, of a feature film. Mm -hmm. So you want to get into the heart of the story immediately. Quickly, yes. Um, so short films do best with extreme close-ups. Um, my suggestion in terms of your shot list, still shoot everything that you plan to shoot, but a few ideas. Yes, sir. Okay? The close-up of the hand, okay, mm -hmm. already indicates in film terms someone with a decision to make. So it's a close-up and the sound of that that you want to have. A close-up of a phone is also important because then you can intersperse from the worry to the phone. Yeah. Now, because by the time your narrator is coming, we really... In, in, this story, we don't need to see the full guy, okay? So we don't need to see him in terms of where he is. Um, you may do the shot and keep. In post-production, mm -hmm. you may make that decision. But he's thinking. The narrator is a voice in his head. So you need a very extreme close lens. You, you <laughs> want to make sure that you have a shot of his, of his head that maybe doesn't even reveal all of his head. You might want to do a shot of just a side of his face with, with space here. Yeah, blurred out possibly. <laughs> yeah, you, it doesn't need to be blurred. It just needs to, you just need to let us know that it's about him thinking. And because what does the feeling of thinking feel? Your camera can give us that feeling. We can go from the side of his face to the back of his head. We mm. can move around his head without seeing him. We can go straight on top. Mm. The idea is that as that voice speaks, yes. all of us have a voice in our head. So you need to look at how you use the shots to do that so that you're not translating in a, shall I say, you have to use your lens to put us in the world of this story. So basically the lens tells a story then? It has to tell the story. Okay. It's a short film. So I, I would suggest that you relook really at your, your short list. Mm -hmm. And you know, for short film, you have to get to the inciting incident immediately Quickly. on your first shot. Yes. So if you use a wide shot, unless something is happening, mm -hmm. no. This, we all know there is a decision to be made. Mm -hmm. We all know a choice has to be made. We all know somebody's worried about something. Okay? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Of course, you know, when you see a leg that's doing it as well, it's, it's also someone yeah. impatient. These are all visual um, language things. Okay? Yes. Um, you know, someone thinking, mm -hmm. someone doing this. I don't have to say he's thinking. I know he's not just thinking, he's worried. Mm -hmm. Think of those shots and frame them as the sequence of your film. You just give me a wicked idea. I don't want to... I, I I'm not going to say a wicked idea. You just give me a wicked just idea. Use it. <laughs> use it in the script. Yes. Okay? Now, that's your, that's your first act. Yes. What's your, what's your second act? I know that two sides of the head yes. are talking. Yes. So, those same imagery, how do you plan to replicate them on the other side of your story. So one of the things I did was I broke my stories into three parts. The very first, second thought. The first is establishing the characters. The second thing is establishing the conflict at hand, which is, you know, trying to call someone. Now, I decided to make that particular sequence a lot more dynamic in terms of how we move the camera. Mm -hmm. It's going to be free room because he's going to be pacing from left to right, moving from point to point. So I wanted to be very close, focusing on the character himself, free room. Only very few instances will we have like a static shot from different... Where is the location? It's going to be in a room. Where is that room? The room is in Che's house. Does the room have a window? It does have windows, yes. Does it have a big window? It has three big windows. Does the window look out into a space? It does. The windows look out into a space and you can see a clear blue sky. So it's better for you to do a frame within a frame. A frame within a frame? Okay. It's, it's a visual interpretation. So instead of him sitting on a table, why don't you clear the whole space and put a chair in front of that big, big, big window, mm -hmm. remove its curtain entirely, mm -hmm. it will give you a light that your camera then 
the, 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 your subject becomes darker, which is more interesting. You want to kind of create visually yes, sir. a man in a void rather than a man in a house. Okay? And you might also... Excellent. So if I were see this now, yes, sir. you pick a window, remove, just move everything out. Mm -hmm. If you moved everything out of the way, you have a parquet floor. Yes. Remove everything on the walls. Move it all out. Okay? Yes. Put a chair right here. Okay, you know people, when people are looking out of the window, when they're thinking, yeah. they tend to, he can also stand. <laughs> and he can do that against yeah. the wall. Yeah. And he can tap like that. But you've got a nice space mm -hmm. where you can actually also make this film in black and white later, if you so desire. It is in black and white. So fine. <laughs> it's, it's excellent. Yeah. You can also start with, you know, um, a chair here, mm -hmm. looking out. Yes, sir. Or is standing makes your story far more dynamic and interesting. And then you've got a parquet floor. You can go all the way to the end of this and create a floor, a lead up floor to it. It's far more artistic. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is also about artistic yes. look of his stuff, right? Yes. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, the question then is I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave you. You know, but I think I gave you something to put a context to what you, you want did. to do there. You did, you did, and you did. I want you to be, to kind of take a bit of risks in terms of what the shot yes. compositions look like. Yep. Um, so take the shot of the context, everything, but also get to the close ups, get to the mounts. Mm? Yeah. Okay. Close ups. Product placement is not that complicated yeah. you, in you, your story. You would think so. Tell me. You would think so. So yesterday, I had a conversation with a close friend also who, she, she doesn't write scripts. Doesn't know anything about any of these things. Um, she asked me a question. She was like, have you looked at the rules again? I said, mm, no, no, I haven't. Then she said, okay, take a look at the rules again. The first script you've written, does this seem out there in your face? This product placement, this drink? Does it seem like, oh, you're trying to sell the drink? Or does it seem like this drink is naturally being placed into the story? I looked at it and I said, it kind of feels like I am trying to sell the drink. Now, panic. I freaked out because I said, I have... What have you decided to yes. do? So what I decided to do was tweak just two lines in the script. Don't use words. Yes. To mention the brand. Yes. <laughs> That's not product placement, okay? Yes. Don't say, I'm about to drink Nefty. Mm. There you okay? go. Okay? It just screws up everything. Mm. Subtlety is the business of short film, okay? Yes. It has to be integrated into the story. Yes. A lot of people think of the drink in hand. And thank you. A lot you. of people have made big decisions in life. Yes. Because somehow, a stiff drink, you've heard the British talk about having a stiff, stiff drink. drink, yes. A stiff drink is not about enjoyment. Sometimes yes. a stiff drink is about getting yourself back. It might be that you're, you know, you've just got some news, you've got a decision to make, yeah. you've you got to go some, you've got to make a move. Yes. Um, a stiff drink uh, sometimes does that. It's going to recalibrate you. So it's a natural for your yes. story. Yes. So what you want to do is somehow make sure that the guy somewhere there either already has the drink. If I were to do your story, yes. and I'm not the one I want to hear story, this. but I if want I, to I hear were this. to do your story, <laughs> yes. I would have a glass cup mm. and I would start with an extreme close-up of drinking it, mm -hmm. okay? And I will pick it as he goes to the window to think. The only time you will see this mm. will be as he takes a cup and goes. Mm -hmm. It has to be subtle, incidental, but unmistakable. Okay? But you have to focus on the story, not yes. the drink. Good. Yes. It, it's... it's so... And remember, please, yes, please, if he's going to be making decisions and thinking, mm -hmm. 
Don't pour a full cup. It's just a tiny bit. Oh, so That's not a stiff drink. Yes. If it is uh, something like you want to wash your teeth or something. We don't do that. Okay, cool. It's, it's funny, yes. So, is, it, you got a plan for product placement. Absolutely, so, you have yes. the product in hand. Have they given it to yes, you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Both of them. And do you know what a, what, a, what a whiskey glass looks like? I do know what a whiskey glass looks like. You but need to get one nice one. But I won't be using a whiskey glass. Why? I'll be using a shot glass. It's fine. It also says something about your character. Just yes. know that. Yes. Okay? So that's cool. Let's move quickly. Production design. I yes. told you some stuff already. Oh, yeah, I like already the is. fact that you want to do um, black and white. Yes. It's kind of cool. But don't shoot as black and white. Never. Just shoot Never. normal <laughs> color. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. When we, if the lighting is yes. right, we can always alter and grade. Yeah. Okay? But if it doesn't look good in color, mm -hmm. it's not going to look good in black and white. Yeah. So it, make it, the black, make the film. Yes. In color first. It's so I, I, it's so crazy how you keep saying these things because my room is white walls. The light comes and it comes in very very hard. So I took pictures, mm. shared it with the DOP. Mm. He was like, "Chi, I've shot this film in your room before, mm. and it works well, but there is the possibility the light might be a bit too harsh, and you don't want to struggle too much with that in the post." I said, well, you know, you could do stuff like this, you could do this. It was like, that's cool, but you want to be absolutely sure. You don't want to struggle with that in post. Well, it, that's his business. It's, yes. it's, that, it is his business it is. to light you and deliver you a raw True. thing, a yes. raw format that we can work with. Yes. Um, we can always redo your lighting in post. That's a crazy thing. Yes. You can take it out, you can take it down. So it's, don't, be, don't go in... Yeah. Trying to be a DOP, going, being a storyteller, visually. Yes. Pick your spaces before yeah. you have the conversations. Yeah. But don't let the, the camera people or the DOP become mm -hmm. the director of no. your film. And I was careful of that. And that's very important because that very happens that. a lot. It does. So it mm -hmm. does when you are not telling them what to do. Yes. It does when you don't have a, sh a short list. Mm -hmm. It does when you don't have a clarity. Mm -hmm. So you might want to um, yeah. be very clear about yeah, that. I, I was. Props and costume. Yeah. I talked about location now. Mm -hmm. I think I know what you're doing. Yes, sir. One room, nice space. Yes, sir. Television screen. Mm -hmm. um, uh, window. Yes. Window has no curtain, right? No curtain. Okay. Is there a stool where they drink? Is? Yeah, so there's, there's a good pistol right next to where um, the, the character is going to be. Don't he put this tool where the character is going to be. Okay. Put this tool somewhere from where he picks his drink to go. Okay. That's the one. Three minutes to go. Yeah. Who's the actor? What's, what's the actor wearing? The actor is going to be wearing a very, very simple house cloth because he's house going to be dressed, coat. Uh, just a casual wear. Very, very casual. What does it look like? Um, I would say. What does what does the what does the character have? Um, it's his house. Yes, it's his house. Yes. Good. So, you want to talk about comfort? Yes. Something you want very to talk about ease? I would say more comfortable than ease, sir. Okay. Yes. Cool. So, what is the bottom? I am assuming he doesn't have any any shoes. No shoes at this Good. point. Good. He's got his feet. Feet. Yes, sir. Good. What does he have? What is he wearing here? Shorts, t-shirt, sir. Shorts and t-shirt. Yes. That's okay, one option. That's one and option. what kind of T-shirt? Um, it's going to be a white T-shirt with the, the New York sign on top of it, but just... Why is Brooklyn. New York on top of the T-shirt? If I remember clearly, it's more of Brooklyn than New York. What is about Brooklyn in the story? Now, the reason why I picked that shirt is because of the inscription on there. It has like a picture of the Brooklyn Bridge, if I recall. Yes. Right. Is that part of your story? It's not. Then it does. it has no point to be that. It really doesn't. You, don't, really. you mustn't do costume that is available. You do costume that is um, chosen. And each mm. costume must kind of have a reason. I'd rather you were wearing a simple white singlet, clean white singlet. It's simple, it's easy, it's, it, goes, it always works in black and white, and it has nothing written on it, right? Nothing. Good. Thing, That's what I will ask you to think about doing. Now, I put here rehearsals. Yes. You are our actor. Yes, sir. Okay? That's wonderful. Okay? Um, I'm assuming you are doing this without your hat. Oh, definitely without the hat. The hair is going to be all pushed down. It's definitely not going to be crazy like this, sir. 
So, cool. No, no, the hair can be whatever, yeah, you're out. Right? Health, yes. Okay, cool. So, you are going to rehearse. Yes. Right? Yes. And the rehearsals is also a tech rehearsal. Pretty much, because yes. Because you are the... Uh, you are the director, you are the actor. Yes, sir. You absolutely have to rehearse so that the tech guys know where you start, where you stop, where you pause, and what you're doing. Okay? Yes, and I think at the end of each shot, you, you should take a look at what you've got. Yeah, we have a screen, thank God for that. <laughs> and make a decision if you can. If you're at the director and the actor, yes, sir. don't put a monitor somewhere and try to act and be looking at so yes people do it's very tempting to do i had no idea until recently don't do that so it's good that you go through the performance yes don't have a monitor to you let the monitor is for your review okay so i'm assuming because you are the actor yes, we can't we don't need to do delivery notes we're just going to have to work with what shot you got, what yeah. you decided. Next thing now, I'm assuming you have logistics. Are you going to feed your cars? Yeah, I will. I mean, I, yeah. Who's your digital asset manager? You have so, someone doing yes, that? Yes, I do have somebody there, but okay. I did not call him that. Although his job is specifically to just get every single thing we shoot, catalog them. So probably. why I put that there? You need two hard drives. Oh, I also so got those that, already. Yeah, so that once you, you're yeah. done with one, you yeah. can copy it before it yeah, starts two moving SSDs. around. Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, do you have a call sheet? Yes. Continuity sheets? Who's no, that? unfortunately, no. We don't have the continuity. You need continuity sheets so that if you're doing a second take of something, yes. you know what you did with your hand and with your how you did the first one, just in case. Okay. Yes. Sir. If you don't know how to do that, just Google. It's very easy to do. Super. But it, it, it's a short film, so somebody mm -hmm. on your crew can do that. Okay. Um, camera reports, I'm only putting that, it's not your problem, your DOP should give you that, but that's okay. important for your post later. Okay. okay. What are you shooting with? I'm going to be shooting with a um, Black Magic 6K. Black. Why are you shooting with a Black Magic 6K? <laughs> well, mostly... You know, I'm asking you that, yes. because when it's in time post, to yes. actually... Yes, in post, yeah. Why? So the thing is, I... I money, man, I love you. <laughs> You should bless me. My next film, I'm going to come to you. Is that your camera? It's not my camera, sir. It's it, not my camera. They're giving it's... it to you for free? Well, rented. You're renting a, a, a 6K? Man, this man is serious. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm, but it will generate its own digital report. Yes, it will. And just make sure that that's sort of like, you know, immediately after you shoot, if you're paying the DOP, yes. you're not paying his balance until he actually emails you. 100%. That. Okay, cool. And you can tell from that report yeah. where your problem is going to be, if there is a problem. Mm. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Post-production schedule, mm -hmm. you only got one month. I would suggest that you start your post today, if yeah. you finish shooting today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay? Get the first cut together before we go. And yeah. if you want to share the first cut, I'm happy to help, okay? okay? Yeah. You can just put it on a WeTransfer. Hmm? Yeah. I signed an NDA, don't worry, it will be fine. <laughs> and I already have my own things. <laughs> <laughs> Offline edit is what I'm talking about. Online, don't do the online until you're sure the story is locked in. Mm. Huh? Yes, sir. The story is locked in means that you've kind of shown people and mm -hmm. it's a good story. Mm. Okay? There's no need in doing an online unless you fixed everything. Yes. Uh, things like if, if there is a sound, fix the sound. If there is a problem, let's fix the sound. Grades and color, all of that we'll do later. Exports mm -hmm. all come after that. Do you have questions? Biggest question, sir. Um, in, in your own opinion, what exactly do you believe constitutes a good story? It's a vague question, but I'm not looking for specifics. What constitutes a good story? Yes. The premise. Mm. Premise insight. A story told. What's the premise? What is the question? What is the choice that confronts the character? Huh? Mm. A good story has an antagonist that is formidable. Unless the obstacle is bigger than the protagonist, you don't have a story. And it is within the obstacle 
yeah. that the surprises and the, the ending has to have a surprise. Hmm? Yeah. And it's a short film. So, yeah. You have an interesting story because it's a thought story. It's in the head of a guy. Yes. If you are the performer, understand that everything is here. So you do have to perform. You have to know how to think, how to look like you're thinking, and how that thought changes when you have a bright light. So really work with a mirror before you work with a camera. Yeah. Yeah. Are you comfortable? Extremely. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs>